And as the Afghan crisis continues to worsen, joining us for more on these developments is Dr. Paul D. Miller, Professor of International Affairs at the Georgetown University and a former White House staffer. Uh, Dr. Miller has spent a decade in public service as the Director for Afghanistan and Pakistan on the National Security Council staff. Uh, he was also an intelligence analyst for the Central Intelligence Agency. Thanks very much for joining us, uh, Dr. Miller. Uh, my first question to you is how concerned are you looking at the current security situation in Afghanistan? The Taliban claim to have captured 18 of the country's 34 provinces. Well, I'm deeply concerned. Uh, it seems that a bandwagon effect has taken hold and that the Afghan army is in many places not even fighting, uh, almost preemptively surrendering. Um, this is the worst it's been in 20 years of fighting. So I'm deeply concerned. Right. The British Secretary of State, Ben Wallace, has expressed concern that the Al-Qaeda could return to Afghanistan. How do you react? Do you agree with that assessment? I agree. That is, for me, the principal concern about what is happening in Afghanistan right now. The United States' chief interest in intervening in Afghanistan was to deny safe haven to Al-Qaeda and international terrorists. Um, I think it's very reasonable to, to fear, to expect that al-Qaeda or its copycats will regain safe haven in Afghanistan and in Pakistan um, as we withdraw. The United States has been blamed for the worsening security situation in Afghanistan. How could things have been handled differently, according to you? And why is the U.S. not willing to change its strategy, given how things have panned out ever since the true pullout was announced? There are many things the United States and our international partners and allies could have done differently over the years. I could go all the way back to the early days and suggest that the international community might have intervened with a larger presence to provide basic public security early on. That might have prevented the Taliban insurgency in the first place. I think that President Obama made a mistake by announcing his withdrawal plans in 2009-2010. I think President Trump made a mistake by signing a peace deal with the Taliban last year that um, contained unenforceable uh, concessions on the Taliban. And I think President Biden has made a mistake by announcing the withdrawal today. So again, I would have done many things differently over the years, larger presence, more reconstruction assistance, uh, and so forth. Um, I think President Biden is unwilling to change course today because he believes that there's uh, no prospect for a better outcome. I think that he believes the war has been lost for a long time, and all he's doing is cutting our costs and leaving. I disagree with him on that, uh, and I think the last week has shown that we are choosing the worst possible outcome. It didn't have to end this way. We could still stop the worst from happening if we changed course. The Taliban continue to make territorial gains uh, on the ground. What would greater Taliban control mean for the women of Afghanistan? I think the Taliban are very uh, savvy with the international media, and they know how to tell the media what, um, what they think the media wants to hear. And so the Taliban are saying that they're going to reevaluate their interpretation of Sharia law. And uh, they make uh, they even have a talking point about women's rights. But I think we all know what, what they're going to do. Um, I see no reason to expect that it will be different than it was in the 1990s. The Taliban believe what they believe. And they believe it is their religious duty to impose these kinds of restrictions on, on women and on Shia and on uh, non-Muslims and on everybody who's not the Taliban. Um, we know what the Taliban are. They've not changed their stripes in over 30 years of their existence. And we shouldn't expect otherwise. And we shouldn't be deceived by their propaganda. Dr. Miller, thanks very much for joining us with those perspectives. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.